Hello everybody, Princess DeBerry here. We're back at Territory Springs Resort for Artist Palette. Yes, we have had Artist a lot palette. of mixed uh, of experiences here, but it's time to come back and give them a fourth try, fifth? Something like that. We're always willing to give somebody another try, so it's, we're going in and let's get some eat. I'm hungry. You sure to Derby? Right? You heard, yeah, Derby. Derby. You heard the girl. Stella Rosa. Majority of their wines are vegan. There's only two that are not. This one is. It smells good. A little bubbly, semi sweet. Good for dessert. I'll probably have this after my meal. I would give it um, two and a half out of five pinks. It's. Okay for a small bottle. A little pricey, but it'll it'll get the job done. But there's a bar like right down the way. Don't don't buy drinks from artist palette like us. I don't know why we did this. Refreshingly semi sweet and delicious, just like your neighborhood bear. Uh canned wine always worries me. I've yet to find the one that I like, and the price that you pay for these uh, these quick service is borderline ridiculous. As if Disney prices weren't bad. Wow. Yeah. Were those markers you had as a kid in the classroom that like smelled? That's what that smells like, like the grape one. Maybe a mix of the grape and the red one. That's not a good smell. Not bad, that tastes like sparkling grape juice. Not even like wine. Like, I taste like no alcohol in the back end of that. What's the percentage on this thing? Does it even say? Probably not. Um, I, I, I don't know, the, the flavor is good, but the fact that I can't taste alcohol probably means it's like tap water. So it's a two out of five claws for me. I feel like this is something that you drink a few of these and wake up with a massive headache in the morning. So here we have a Blue Point Brewing, which we seem to be coming up against a lot of these lately. We had, I had one, a uh, Toasted Blue Point at Diamond Horseshoe? Yes. Now we have the Imperial Sunshine. Like, we try to look something up, like we do with all the things that we drink, and it didn't specifically say whether or not it was plant-based or vegan or not. So, on the side of caution, it would just be me drinking this one. It's a wheat beer, but the term Imperial in it Kinda worries me, but at least it's a tall boy. Then that's why I turned the, the thing like that. I, I don't, I don't know. Strong citrus smell, like you squeeze the whole orange in a blue moon type of orange. Ooh, it's it's got that thick front of the mouth, like wheat taste, with like that edge of citrus on the back. So it really does taste like a blue moon with the orange already in it. But it's pretty drinkable. It's not harsh or really bitter at the end. Like you get like a hint of the orange, but it's not overpowering. I this could be a daytime, a, a day drinking beer for me easily. It's a four to five plus. I want to try more Blue Point now. If you guys have recommendations, let me know in the comments. This is like three times bigger than I thought it was going to be. This is a plant-based gyro. It has plant-based sausage, hummus, vegan tzatziki, lettuce, tomato, onions, cucumbers, um, and a baked pita with herbed red wine vinaigrette. And, a, and um, it is supposed to come with olives and raisins, but I don't like dried fruit and I don't like olives, so I got it without those things. This is so huge, I don't even know where to start. Actually, you know what? I'm going to try to take a little bit of everything and do go into princess mode. So, the pepper or the uh, sausage is back here, so I'm gonna grab one of those. We got some ziki and some chickpea over here already. We got some lettuce, tomato. All of this together and then I'll take a little piece of let's grab a little piece of pita and put it on top that way 
I get to try everything together. It is a hot Italian Beyond sausage with some beautifully seasoned chickpeas. The tzatziki sauce is really nice. Um, I love the lettuce. I love the onions. I love the vinaigrette. I think everything is amazing. I think the only thing that really detracts from this is the plant-based um, sausage. If it was me, I would just double up on the chickpeas and forget the sausage. If that's possible, I think I would order it that way next time. But either way, this is an incredibly creative, incredibly large, incredibly delicious dish. And I absolutely would 100% recommend this to anybody that wanted some like nice good quick service i will give this four and a half out of five pitas this is a winning dish maybe mm, yeah four and a half out of five only the minus points for the cold beyond sausage which i wish was chickpeas more chickpeas now while the princess is a princess once you got all to remember that i am a bear I'm gonna be as careful as I can and be a bear about this. A grizzly bear, if you will. Honestly, even before I bite into it, I kind of wish that I had gotten this. This feels more my speed. I love anything, well, almost anything in a pita pocket within a reason. Uh, if you had a uh, carnivore version of this, even with the chickpeas, I would have eaten this and ordered this with no problems. The sausage worries me though. Mmm. I get a strong sort of zero taste. I do think there's a little bit too much tzatziki in here though. Plant-based as it is, it's a lot. Like it is absolutely swimming in it. I'm used to a drizzle. If you have a problem with like mayo-y textures, it's, it's a bit heavy on that, but the flavor is there, even with the sausage, the onions, and even with me being a person that doesn't absolutely love onions, it's a nice balance of flavor, the cucumbers and everything else. This is a solid meal, and definitely, a, even though we've gotten food here at, Ar at Artist Palette that we haven't liked, the one thing they have never skipped on is portion size. This, this is gonna feel good for most of the day, even for a carnivore like myself. I'm giving this a solid four to five claws. I am honestly impressed. Your options for sides are grapes or house-made chips. We've had the house-made chips tons of times. If you want to see it, we'll put a link to previous artist palette videos in the description box. So click on those. They'll also be somewhere over here. I went for grapes. This is a much, much, much smaller serving size than what you would get with chips, but it's somewhat healthier. It does say they are pre-washed and ready to go. Seedless grapes. Little grape. I like something I would buy from a produce store that I don't necessarily trust is fresh. It will, uh, I like the fact that it's sealed. So like I, I, if it was me, I would take this with me to Magic Kingdom or like some other park that doesn't really have a lot of good snacks and just like snack on this throughout my park day. Three out of five grapes. It's a little grape snack bag. You saw that kid again. I do love grapes. Ready to eat, washed. Yeah, they're an interesting looking color, but nothing that's off-putting. Mm. I love fruit. I'm not one of those people. I'll eat fruit all day. Two cups, as long as it's not canned. I like my fruit fresh. But as far as the side, even though it's not as big as I would get the chips, I'd be fine with this after that humongous pita. I get this three and a half out of five plus. Voila! This, uh, you know, I'm always curious, like when a place says, it's like, hey, we're gonna give you half a roast chicken. I'm expecting like, maybe a sizable five with a leg. This is legitimately half a chicken. And it's a uh, lemon tarragon roasted. Lemon is not always gonna be my first choice. I'm gonna cook my chicken in. But I understand that lemon on chicken is a popular flavor. 
Now, instead of being a uh, grizzly bear on this, I'm actually going to be a distinguished gentleman and cut into it like a civilized folk would. Or, or just us people that don't want to get our fingers dirty because we have a camera to hold all day. Really nothing to do with class whatsoever. Or princess. So, it's got some nice skin to it and a little crispiness to it. It looks nice and juicy and it's actually perfectly cooked all the way through. I'm always worried about undercooked chicken. When these places give me undercooked chicken, you're going to hear a bear rant, I promise you. Oh, no. Didn't get any of the skin. I know that's where some of the flavor is. Why are, you, why are you trying to duck me, man? There you go. If you look on the fork, though, it is a bit greasy, which is an issue for me. So, let's just hope it's the juices. Mmm. Okay. Crispiness to that skin is better than any potato chip you're ever gonna get. It's not like that hard, but like you get like that crispness when you bite into it. The char and the roast and the skin really soaks up that lemon tar gun. Honestly, it's not as strong as I expected, but that's a good thing for me. Chicken is juicy, nice and seasoned, and overall, very well done. I would give this a roast chicken over any rotisserie you got at any grocery store or sort of like a other quick service place. I was expecting garbage, and this is actually kind of good. Yeah, three and a half out of five plus. I had a half chicken at Caribbean Beach. That chicken was seasoned to the nines. Uh, smaller portion, but it was definitely, I think, a better cooked chicken. But this is still rather impressive for artist palette. I feel like everywhere we eat lately, they serve me up green beans. I do not like green beans. Well, I don't hate them. Let me be wrong. I don't despise green beans. I will eat green beans. They're not like peas to me. I hate peas. Mushy peas are good, but regular peas and lima beans I absolutely disdain. I'll eat green beans, but like as far as like my vegetable totem pole, it's pretty close to the bottom. If there was like lima beans and peas, green beans is like right above that. Edible, but eh. I think I'm probably traumatized for all the rubbery ones of these I ate as a kid in like school lunches. Yep. Rubbery. Not all the way cooked. If my bag was on the floor, we'd spit that out. <laughs> Zero out of five claws. Yeah. We have the potatoes. Nice and roasted. Got some color to them, some char. Also, looking a bit on the greasy side. Y'all using a lot of oil in there. It kind of worries me. Let's see how she tastes. Outside season, a little bit of pepper. I like a little bit of char to it, but they could have used a little bit uh, longer in the oven because they're still kind of dense and you, when you bite, you get big chunk. It's like moosh in your mouth, if you will. Even that, two out of five claws. Good chicken dragged down by terrible sides. So, artist palette, again, some hits, some misses. I, I do think that it's one of the more impressive quick service locations for a resort hotel. Yes, definitely. It's definitely improving slowly, even though the whole setup is kind of janky with like half store, it half quick service. It's very tiny. But it, it, it works. And honestly, oddly enough, they have probably the largest selection of beer we've seen since they the do. Grand Floridian pool bar, which is odd here. but. True. We're not saying no it's to it. It's almost at the most random places where they have like the good alcohol. It's weird. Definitely. If something changes here, as always, we'll come back and give them another try. Definitely, if you do come here, check out their new lobby. It is amazing. Beautiful. Newly renovated, more Disney like themed horses everywhere. Lighter and brighter. Love loving it. it. Loving it. But we want to know when's the last time you guys even came to Saratoga Springs or Darkest Palette. Let us know in the comments. If there's anywhere else around Disney World you'd like to see us go. That's going to be a place to find us. Hit that notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. And like this video. And if you don't comment and tell us where your favorite place to get quick services on Disney property, Bear's just going to be sad and just wear this hat. Well, he'll take the hat off. The hat stays on. And I guess you're just going to have to comment. You're the girl.